Is this one of the best brownings ever produced? Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to talk about the famous Browning GTI. So I've managed to get my hands on a Browning GTI Ultra Sporter. This is the GTI Ultra Plus, and this was how the XS Pro started, and this is all the beginnings of it. And we managed to get hold of one of these, and I put it on Facebook and Instagram, and the interest that I've had in this gun, and everyone said, oh, I've had one of these when I was a young lad, and I want one now. And at the Oxford Gun Company, we used to have one of these as a demo gun, and it is the only gun that we never serviced and it completely shot out. It, it fired in excess of seven million cartridges and it never went wrong, it never missed a beat. So I thought I would do a little bit of review and tell you what basically it is. For a 40 year old gun, I thought this was an absolutely fantastic piece for kit. And the one of the reasons why the XS Pro has got such a good rating now is because of this gun. So comment below. Do you feel that this is the best brand in the ever one of the best brands they ever produced? Please comment. Have you ever owned one? Have you ever shot one? Have you ever seen one? This particular model is a 32 inch. It's in those days is the was the um, top of the range model obviously then it didn't have any recoil pads it's got adjustable trigger ventilated barrels ventilated ribs multi chokes obviously it didn't come with the external multi chokes because in those days they didn't have them this particular one is a 32 inch they did do it in a 30 inch and in a 32 and safety catch Exactly the same. Again, very similar to the way the basic Browning is built today. But I'm gonna be honest, it is a fantastic gun and they just go on forever. So I wanted to shoot one. I wanted to shoot a couple of stands here at Oxford Gun Company and just see why everyone makes such a big thing about it on social media. I'm gonna use my Fiocchi TT 24 grams. And we're just going to shoot a couple of stands. This particular stand is a, a right to left rabbit and a left to right midi crosser. Pull. Pull. So, the first stand, missed a couple of the middies. The biggest thing I feel about these is, okay, it's 40 years old. It does kick a little bit. It's got no recoil systems on it, but they've got the balance absolutely perfect. And it just handles in the hand really well. I'm gonna be honest, you can't fault it. And if this is the starting of the Ultra and the Pro range, which it is, you can see why the Ultra has got such a great following. Let's go and shoot another stand. We've come to the next stand here at Oxa Gun Company with our lovely Browning GTI. And I'm going to be honest, you can pick these up for 750, 800 pounds. Now compared to what the equivalent new value was, I mean, what a fantastic price. Please comment below, have you ever owned a GTI? And where did you buy it from? Which shop did you buy it from 40 years ago? Because obviously shops have changed, it now it's becoming a lot of shooting schools rather than gun shops that sell guns. Comment below, comment. 
Do you miss your GTI? Have you ever owned a GTI? Where did you buy it from? I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear, is the shop you bought it from still in existence today? Comment below. Let's see some history within the English gun trade and let's see if we can find some GTI lovers out there in all you lovely shooters. 750, 800 pounds for a gun that was probably worth 1,500, 2,000 pounds. Doesn't lose a great deal of money for a 35, 40 year old gun. Can you see the remblance of the XS Pro in this GTI Sport, GTI Ultra? I can, the basics of it, okay. It's got balance weights, it's got stock weight, it's got recoil pads. But this gun, 40 years ago, was the latest technology that Browning had and it was the top of the range and it is probably one gun that won numerous competitions, championships. So is it the best Browning ever produced? Comment below. Let's shoot another stand. So I'm gonna shoot a little go away bird and a little incomer or crosser. Let's see what it brings. Pull. 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 I'm gonna be honest, I can't fault it. For a 40 year old gun, shoots absolutely fantastic. Balances really well. One more pair, pull. And I'm gonna be honest, it makes me smile every time I shoot it, that I'm shooting a little bit of Browning history. Comment below, let's hear your thoughts on the GTI Ultra. Is it the best Browning ever made? I hope you've enjoyed this program. Don't forget, we've got the Browning Game Challenge held at Oxford Gun Company starting on the 1st of July, and it's the whole of July and August, and the Austin Masters is in August. Two great grounds, two great competitions, go and give them a visit. And please hit that big subscribe button and please help us to give you content like this and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, go onto the Shooting Channel website, get your merchandise discount. There's 10% off merchandise and our 10% discount code off um, Swapcom. Just go onto the Swapcom website. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.